G'day everyone, SJD here. One thing I'm always looking for in toys these days is the design doing something interesting. But you know what I'm not looking for? G1RC. She's been shelf warming in some variation for... When did Earthrise RC come out again? 2020. So five years now. Oh, wait. Big Bad Toy Store had throwing 30s RC, the only good one, until at least 2022. So I make that 10 years of RC not selling. That was the first toy too. Struth. But what about if RC actually was an interesting toy? This is Authentic's Bravo RC, and she is an interesting toy. For those not familiar with Authentic's, it's a budget line of Transformers, poised as shut them up toys using the evergreen designs. Down here in Australia, you'll find this particular range of Coles and Woolies for 11 bucks. That $11 price point is really apparent the more you look at and especially handle RC. She's taller than an old Legion class toy, but has considerably less weight and density to her. You can feel that she's $5 cheaper despite being released five years later. Predominantly burnt pink and white with black accents, Authentics RC's colour placement seems to be a hybridisation of both G1 and Animated, but the toy is still recognisably G1 RC. It works. I'd imagine the burnt pink was chosen over pastel pink to help the toy sell. Unlike most every toy depicting G1 RC, Authentics RC is not actually wearing her car mode as a backpack. Rather, it makes up the bulk of her upper arms and lower legs. Her only backpack is the back of the car and cabin, which sits quite nicely on her back, very flush. While it's clearly still a slim woman wearing car parts, the distribution of those parts is a vast improvement over earlier designs and that's what makes her interesting. The feet in particular have something of a bell-bottom look to them, which adds some character to the design. Disco RC when? Disco Skeletor needs someone to boogie with. If I had one. RC comes with one accessory being her gun. Accessories are rare in Authentics, so her having one is nice, though it is part of the alt mode necessary to fully capture the G1 look. She holds it tightly too. Unfortunately, we all have eyes. You can see that RC has issues. Her forearms are tiny and out of proportion. They rotate on a thin peg and ball joint that's a bit concerning, but seems fine if you rotate the ball in, then rotate the arm like you would for transformation, then finally rotate them out back to where you want them. She's very hollow, though that's normal for many Transformers now. But due to where she is hollow, she finds it hard to stand. Her feet, despite being huge, don't support her very well. The whole knee construction combined with her balance issues results in her looking like her knees bend backwards, like a bay former. All of her ball joints are this weird mix of tight and floppy. They feel bad, but are serviceable at the same time. It's hard to describe, but you notice it the moment you start moving her. Then you have her face. I'm not sure what to say about it. She's got this uncanny look to her. I wanted to say RC has a thousand yard stare, but that's not it. It's that her lipstick is missing. She looks off without it. You could totally tell it's RC, but something's not right. In terms of articulation, RC's head is on a tight ball joint. Every ball joint can be a... Uh... Yeah, I'm not stressing that plastic. The shoulders are on ball joints, allowing her to rotate a full 360. But due to the kibble, they barely move outwards. Her forearms have a bend at the elbow and a ball joint inside the arm, allowing for a very awkward looking double joint. Nothing at the waist. Ball joints at the thighs. She can kick this far forward, this far backward and painful splits. Unfortunately, due to transformation, she has no knees. That's a bummer. RC's transformation is simple, but crikey is it frustrating. Starting with the knees. 
The lower leg assembly is made up of a ball joint to her knees attached to a shaft that goes into her thighs. What we want to do is rotate the shaft around so that the lower legs are backwards, then rotate the lower legs on the ball joint, then push the shaft into the thighs. The problem is that it is so tight that not only is the shaft hard to move, but the lower legs pop off. It's probably best to just have them pop off, work the shafts, then reattach the lower legs. Unpeg the backpack and fold it over her head. Then on each arm, unfold the black panels on the double hinge. They will need to be forced through a click. Pull the arms out slightly and rotate them up. Be careful, if the strut that they are on isn't far enough away from the body, they will pop off the ball joint. Now push the lower arms inwards and rotate them so that you can fold them into the body. Finally, just align everything and place the gun into the rear of the car to make the fin. And you have a small burnt pink and black futuristic sports car that doesn't hold together too well. And the fin falls out, but it rolls okay? It's a cute little car. It completely looks the part. If you handed me this toy and asked me who it was, I'd say RC in a second. But things fall apart so easily. Nothing has a tight connection and holding the toy too firmly means that you have to realign the body. I have three other toys from this line and none of them have this problem. It's uniquely an RC problem. But we have to cut RC some slack. The price point is very important in evaluating the toy. It's $11. For comparison's sake, when Legion class toys were reissued for the Rise of the Beasts, they were priced at $16. They used to be about $7. Core class, the most comparable class in generations, are between $18 and $22 depending on where you buy them. Authentics RC has a lot of flaws, the whole knee assembly being the most egregious, but she feels more worth her price point than Legion Core and especially Battlemasters, who also shared that $16 price point for Rise of the Beasts. She looks the part in both modes, even if getting there is annoying, and she makes a nice enough little desk toy if you can get her to stand. Blue tack may be advised. But what Authentics RC actually shows is that limitations truly breed creativity. You can feel the budget constricting the designer. The lipstick being missing is due to that. But in that limitation, I'd say they've fixed most of RC's design issues. Her being the car rather than wearing the car, is a notable improvement. Taking a shell former and making her an actual transformer. If the normal team took this general idea and made a Generations Deluxe out of it, it'd be the best G1 RC toy ever made. No contest. Still probably wouldn't sell though. If you liked today's video and want more Transformers content, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Till next time friends, this has been SGD and thanks for watching.